my boss said to me that if we have to shut down all of these Mark I plants, it will probably mean the end of GE's nuclear business forever. I started with GE uh, essentially or immediately after I got out of, out of college as a mechanical engineer. And uh, I started out as a field engineer responsible for supervising the construction and startup of power plant equipment across the United States. In the first 10 or 15 plants that GE sold of the large-scale commercial boiling water reactors, they did so on a, what's called a turnkey basis. They built the whole thing, get it operating, and then they turn the key over to the utility, and the utility then is theoretically capable of operating it to produce electricity. Fukushima 1 was basically a turnkey plant provided to TEPCO by GE. In 1975, a problem developed. It became known that the Mark 1 plants, the some 24 Mark I units in the United States and also those overseas, including the Fukushima units, had not taken into account all of the pressures and forces that are called hydrodynamic loads that could be experienced by the pressure suppression units as a result of a major accident. Uh, we didn't really know if the containments would be able to contain the event that they were supposedly designed to contain. Not only were there the containment problems that existed with the Mark I's, which I was very familiar with, but there were a number of other problems with the GE boiling water reactors and with the nuclear program in general. And I got disillusioned with uh, the speed with which these problems were being addressed. In the middle of the night, I called my boss at GE and I, and I said, my recommendation is that we tell the U.S. utilities that GE cannot support the continued operation of these plants. And my boss said to me, well, it can't be that bad, Dale. And keep in mind that if we have to shut down all of these Mark I plants, it will probably mean the end of G GE's nuclear business forever. Uh, that happened, that conversation occurred at about midnight on January 26th, and that clinched my decision on resignation on February 2nd. The accident that occurred in Fukushima it's some two years later now, and we, we don't really know this, the uh, condition of the reactor core. We don't really know the condition of the containment. The radiation levels are so high inside the containment that it's very difficult to get in there. It will be years before that plant site is cleaned up. The damage that has been experienced at Fukushima is so great and so extensive that uh, I don't think any one utility, certainly TEPCO, has the capability to be able to pay for all of that. Uh, so it becomes a national issue. I think it would be a good idea to not have reliance on nuclear units. They're very risky enterprises. And I would like to see a world that is provided with electricity by alternative energy supplies.